Hi everyone, this is Angelica. Thank you so much for watching this video today. This video is called Establishing Healthy Boundaries. Now, I talk to you in most of my videos about things that I'm going through or I've been through. I will not make a video talking about something that I don't know anything about. Um, my videos are, are things that I am experiencing in the current moment or have experienced over a long period of time. And it, when it comes to establishing healthy boundaries, this has been something that's been a lifelong lesson for me. Um, primarily because I grew up in a very dysfunctional family, which I'm trying to rewrite the past of that and not try to focus so much on um, the negative aspects of that because there were a lot of positive aspects of that. But one of but as we grow and we awaken on our spiritual path, we recognize things that play out in our adult life that have to do with our childhood and we have to figure out why. So possibly not blaming or getting wrapped up in the emotional drama of you know what happened in our past, but yet looking at it at the higher level and the higher perspective of it as a chance for growth and a chance to be to step into more of <clears throat> you know who we actually are so in establishing healthy boundaries I grew up not knowing what that meant like really what's a boundary I have no idea that I didn't even know I would just um, think that I had to help everyone and I had to give and give and give and give and I had to fix every situation <clears throat> Um, being the oldest um, in my family and also just being highly intuitive, highly sensitive, and kind of a spiritual person in general, I felt that I had to save the family and save the world. So um, boundaries were not something that I had. Um, and not until I started on my spiritual path, which I didn't even know I was actually starting on, it kind of just hit me. Um, that I had to move more into my true self, I started recognizing, you know, what boundaries actually were. So, you know, um, if you're on a spiritual path, sometimes you realize that you have to kind of go within your little bubble and you have to go into like what's called the like dark night of the soul so that you can really feel yourself. And when you're in that space, it kind of does feel like there's an invisible <laughs> boundary kind of holding you in a womb, in a space where you're protected. It doesn't feel like you're really protected, but it, you are actually, and you're, you're in this space all alone so that you can really feel yourself and grow, get to know yourself and watch others and see how they are in relation to you and everything else. So this is where I first started to establish healthy boundaries. Well, I wouldn't call them healthy. Well, I'll explain that. So. What I started doing, um, in a sense, instead of being like so open, which I swing, I swing from one extreme to the other because I also have a two in my life path. I'm a 32-5 and I've talked about life path numbers before, but if you know that you have a two in your life path, you are dealing with aspects of <clears throat> relationships, um, codependency, independence versus dependency issues, stuff like that. So I have this particular energy in my life path. So what um, what tends to happen if you have a two in your life path or you have a five, if you're 32 five specifically, is that you um, will give and give and give to another person um, until a point that you 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 forget who you actually are and like what you're doing. And then it's all about you lose yourself. And then I never got to the point where I lost myself, but it's like. I give and give and give and give and then I lose my priorities. What's really truly important to my soul and to my mission. And so now I've I've seen this spill out into many aspects of my life and it, and, and over the weekend it's it's gotten kind of upsetting for me um, because I just don't feel in alignment with my soul when I start to do this. Um, several things have happened um, both with um, some friends and then also with my kids that have shown me that I have really unhealthy boundaries still. So um, I do have healthy boundaries at times, but it's very short lived and then I slip into the old pattern and then I get way off balance and then I have to come back around. So 
now that I'm understanding what's going on, uh, when I run, I understand what's going on. That's my way of getting things, getting things going within my energetic body, moving the energy and feeling what's happening. Um, to establish healthy boundaries, it's really important to first have your priorities in line. You have to know exactly what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing in life, then you cannot have healthy boundaries because I'll just use my life for instance, since this is coming up um, in regards to my own personal life. Um, I know what my priorities are. They are my children, my home, same thing, um, my work, and my health. Okay, when any three of those things go out of balance, I go out of balance. So what I've had to stop doing is helping so many people that need help. Obviously in the work that I do, I get, I get constant, you know, people needing help, needing my help. And, um, I only have so much time. I'm a single mom with three children and I also have a full-time business and, um, I have to make sure that I'm healthy and doing those things for myself that make that keep me balanced. So I don't really have a lot of time for regular chit chat, talking to people randomly, um, even even friends. Like I have friends, but I have not put a boundary around that to make that so there's a specific time in which I can, you know, keep the space open for my friendships. So um, for me, it's those three things. And if those th three things are balanced, then I feel good and secure. And so what I do is I get, I'm very... I establish healthy boundaries and know what I'm doing and I get, you know, my work, my home, my, my kids. What's, what's been happening though, as I've grown my business and I've continued to try to work at times, maybe in the evening when my kids um, need my attention and instead I, I keep trying to push myself to work more, either that or people come in who are my friends supposedly. And, um, and I say that because that, that's another boundary thing. Like it's, it's, it's kind of blurred sometimes to recognize. Um, I don't really need a lot of friends. I'm actually really okay being on my own because I know what I'm doing right now in my, this time in my life. So friends to me are not a type top priority. However, they may be a top priority for you and where you're at in, in your path right now in your life. So if you have time to chit chat on the phone for several hours, then that's great. Um, unfortunately, I don't. And what it ends up happening is, is sometimes friends that are spiritual too. It's like if we're delving into like all the issues and the problems, we'll always find something wrong. Um, when in reality, there's not much wrong, especially when you know exactly what you're doing, where you're headed, what your mission is, and what you're trying to keep in line. And that's where I'm at. So sometimes what happens is I allow people into my life and I'm like, oh, wow, nice. It's going to nice to just talk about what's wrong with everything and how to fix it. However, um, I'm already past that point, so I don't need to chit chat about that. That's, um, that's not that's not beneficial to my particular life right now and my priorities. So I've had to, in the past couple days, like shift things, get myself back to center. My kids have, in a sense, um, had some difficulties, um, which I won't go into here. But when my kids get off balance, it really affects me. It affects my work. It affects my sleep. I, it affects everything in my life. So I've had to completely like let go of a lot of things in these past few days. So, um, and had I established healthier boundaries and stayed within the confines of what I know will work for myself, my, my particular situation and my work that I do so that I can help you all by doing these videos and by doing the counseling that I do and the other services that I do, I need to keep myself in a certain space that allows for that. So this has allowed me to um, really get clear about what my boundaries are. And um, if there is a time that I have to talk to friends, then that's fine. But for me, it's not, it's not about having friends right now. I feel that I'm, I'm trying to really work 
my mission. This is what I'm supposed to be doing, and this is what I'm feeling that I need to be called to be doing. So, um, yeah, so I just decided to make a video about establishing healthy boundaries so that you can get really clear is if there's any leaks in your life, if there's places that you're being drained, it usually means that you're not supposed to be focusing in, the, in those areas. Do the things that make you feel strong only. Maybe five years down the road, those priorities will change. You can always reassess where you're at and, you know, what you're going through at the time. But you have to make sure that you have, <clears throat> in a sense, it's, it's not like you're blocking people, which ends up happening with me, which I was talking about the two. What the two does is, oh, this person needs help. I'll help them. I'll help. Oh, I need to be there for that person. Oh, I, need, I should just, you know, um, try to be with this person or whatever. And then you lose all your energy and then you collapse. Then you don't have anything left. And then you're just like, Psh, no more. And then what I do is I just put up the wall and I just, just everyone leave me alone. So um, if I didn't have three children, it might be different. I might be able to have a lot of friends and, you know, hang out and do those things that other people do that don't have kids. But, or even if you do have kids and you have more of an ability to do those things, if you're maybe have a partner, or you have more help, that's, that's great. That's wonderful. I'm not in that particular situation, so I have to really be clear about my boundaries. And from knowing my past and from knowing where I'm at now and where I'm going, this is a big lesson for me in establishing healthy boundaries and knowing, you know, what I'm actually doing in my life and what I will and will not accept into my life. And it's not to be mean or be, you know, I don't, I don't love everyone because I do. Um, that's another video I'm going to do, loving everyone, um, because that's my mission is to love all. Um, but um, I do have to kind of, in a sense, keep this boundary up. That's not a harsh boundary, but it's just like, you know, I'm just doing other things and I have to I have to focus in on my work. It's more like focus. And that's the only way that I can really describe it now. But um, I get, when I'm in that state of wanting to help everyone and, you know, does this person need something or can I be there for that person? I lose myself and I lose, um, obviously my kids lose from not getting my attention. So um, it's nothing personal. This is just um, who I am and where I'm at in my life. So I hope this video was helpful. If not, um, you just kind of heard a story about my life and hopefully, you know, you may be able to gain some insight from it. And I hope you have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.